Arthur, I noticed when you were missing shots, you're, you're shaking your head. You looked pretty disappointed in yourself, but was it just frustration after frust Was it building as shots just kept, you know, they wouldn't fall? I mean, I mean, it's always frustrating when you're not making shots, of course. But uh, I feel like going into this game, we had three days of preparation that were really good. And so for us to come out and, you know, play the way we did, especially in the second half, you know, it's very disappointing. And you were shooting really well, and just it, you know it wasn't working for anybody in the second half. Your thoughts on that second half? It happens uh, over the course of the season. I uh, feel like I've been doing this long enough. It's not the first time I've seen it, so it happens to the best of teams. And um, you know, it's a learning experience. Uh, just glad it didn't happen in March. What what was kind of the biggest? kind of frustration that they were offering on the, on the rebounding end of things? Uh, we proud on our, ourselves on, um, you know, not letting nobody mash us on the glass. And, um, you know, tonight, you know, give big credit to, um, to Jawan Gary. Uh, he played really well. Uh, 11 offensive rebounds is insane for one player. And so uh, we, we proud ourselves on that. And, um, you know, tonight we just didn't get the job done. And you got to give credit to Nebraska for, you know, playing harder than we did. Offensively, you guys only scored 12 points in the second half. Can you kind of pinpoint the root cause of that, or is it just shots weren't falling, or was it some of the offense? Uh, they played a very good de defensive game. Uh, I think both teams did, honestly. Played a, a, a really good defensive game. Uh, we just didn't make shots when we were open. And um, like I said, it happens. But, you know, we got to find other ways to score when that is happening because this won't be the last time that we go through a game where shots aren't falling. And uh, we got to find different ways to be able to get a, uh, score buckets and uh, you know, win games like this because like I said it happens over the season, it happens to the best of teams, and um, you know, it's just a great learning experience. Tyler, I know you said this is kind of a learning experience, and I know it's a tough pull to swallow right now, but how can you kind of help some of these freshmen, these younger guys, kind of learn from this game? Um, just letting them know that everything's going to be okay. Uh, you know, they're frustrated in themselves uh, with, you know, they want to come in and impact the game. And, you know, when you come in and you can't make shots, uh, it, it's tough as a freshman. And uh, then you feel like you can't get stops on the other end when they are making shots. The shots they do make, it feels like they make three or four more. So uh, they're going to be just fine. I think the whole team will be just fine. And, um, you know, the biggest thing is bouncing back and getting ready for Wichita State. Tyler, what can you, what can you say about the spark that uh, Michaela Bridge provided off the bench today? Uh, super big for us. Uh, I think that's a confidence booster for him that he's needed. And, um, you know, I think I never think he wavered and if he felt like he could play out here to, uh, in games like this and it showed tonight. <clears throat> like I said, it's, it's so many positives to take out this game. Um, you can look at it and just be completely negative about it. But we have so many things that we can take out and move, take forward with us. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, I don't feel like we played terrible as a team. Uh, shots just didn't fall and they did for them when they needed them to. And like I said, it happens. Was there anything particular that didn't let you guys get out in transition, which is usually where you guys? Uh... Yeah, you got to give credit to them. Like I said, they played a very good defensive game. Both teams did. And uh, I think they came in and, you know, ran their game plan, did what they were supposed to do. And uh, you got to win on the road. And, you know, Nebraska came in here and did that. You got to give a lot of credit to them. And I just don't see us, you know, shooting this terrible ever again. But if we do, we'll be ready for it. Uh, and like I say, you you know you gotta live and die with you know what what ends up winning you games. And like I, I think we attacked the you know the uh, rim very well, and we shot 18 free throws, and they shot four. So it's not lack of aggressiveness or lack of things that you know we didn't do on the offensive end. Um, they played a good defensive game, and we just couldn't get shots to fall.